Hello, this is Kirill from forexboat.com and welcome to the 21st tutorial on algorithmic trading for beginners. And this is going to be a very exciting tutorial because we're moving on to a new section which is called putting everything together. And as you can tell from the name of the section, uh, we're actually going to be putting all of the knowledge we've accumulated so far uh, in MQL4. We're going to be putting it um, all into action and uh, we will be building our first standalone fully functional forex robot and um, i hope you guys are excited as me and this is going to be fun it's going to be um, a very uh, interesting um, this is uh, the second last section um, in, the, in the after this we will just have one short section uh, of a course summary where we'll wrap up the course so pay attention this is uh, where all the magic happens. All right, and today we're talking about expert advisors in MQL4. Um, so far, if you have noticed, we've been working with scripts predominantly, and um, it was a very convenient way to learn the language and to understand how basic trading operations are executed. However, when we move on to creating Forex robots or uh, standalone algorithmic trading systems which can function over a long period of time and um, earn new profits, um, we will be working with uh, expert advisors. Well, that's that's the name they're given in MQL4. And uh, we're, today we're going to find out what the main difference is between them and uh, the scripts that we've been looking at. Uh, so let's have a look. This uh, is a script. Well, this is how a script works. Uh, we attach the script to a chart and then uh, uh, the script gets executed, it has a start of execution and a finish. Basically, any program has a start of execution and a uh, finish. Uh, for uh, the script, the way it works is as soon as you attach it to the chart, that on start function that uh, within the body of which we've been writing all of our code, it gets um, called and uh, as soon as it's, uh, it is executed, when the, that function finishes working, uh, the script completes its... Um, life and basically that's it. Uh, it the execution has been completed uh, whereas expert advisors are a bit different expert advisors are designed to um, continue working for a long uh, period of time and um, uh, the execution part uh, like like any program they have a start and a finish uh, because sooner or later you'll probably close them take them off the chart or um, close the terminal or something but um, until that happens uh, this is how it works uh, first of all the uh, there there's three functions uh, three main functions within an expert advisor and uh, originally the on init function is called and that allows um uh, your program to set up the environment it wants to work in, do some in, uh, initializations of variables and so on. So that function gets executed only once when the program uh, is, uh, uh, when the expert advisor is launched. Then um, uh, there's the on tick function and that is the main uh, working function. That's like the, the, uh, the main, um, the body or the heart, if you will, of uh, the expert advisor. And what it does is it, um, it gets executed on every tick. So every time a tick comes in uh, to your terminal, meaning a new price uh, or um, a change in price in the uh, instrument that the expert advisor is attached to, every time a new tick arrives, this function gets executed. It gets executed and then uh, the expert advisor waits for another tick to arrive and then it gets executed again and again and again and so on. So um, that just keeps happening until uh, the expert advisor is taken off the chart and that uh, that there may be, may be many causes to why it's taken off the chart or why it has uh, been forced to complete its execution. And once uh, that happens, when the execution is complete, uh, the expert advisor still has um, a few 
uh, brief moments to uh, finalize its work by actually um, calling the on d init function and that function just cleans up or basically any code that you put in there will be executed upon termination of the expert advice. Um, so that's how they look uh, sch schematically, how, what the difference looks like between scripts and expert advisors. Um, it might be a bit uh, hard to grasp without actually uh, looking at the code, understanding and having a feel for what's happening. So why don't we just uh, jump to uh, meta editor and have a look there. So this is meta editor, and um, uh, here are the scripts that we've been working with. And uh, now we're going to create a new expert advisor, which should uh, appear in this um, different folder, this separate folder for experts. Uh, it should appear here. So now we're going to uh, click new. Uh, use the as usual. We'll use the MQL4 wizard, but this time we'll uh, select expert advisor up here. Uh, we will call this expert advisor uh, my first EA, and we'll uh, stick to that name throughout the um, throughout this section. Uh, so we'll just be building upon that same uh, file. Um, don't forget to put your uh, credentials in there. Uh, next, uh, we don't need to click anything here, uh, nothing here either. Uh, and there we go, click finish. And as you can see, the template has been set up and um, the expert advisor has appeared here, my first EA. Um, and as you can see, there's three uh, functions on init, on D init and on tick. So this function gets executed initially. This function gets executed when the uh, expert advisor is terminated and this function gets executed on every tick. So without third, further ado, let's uh, populate some text or some test uh, function, some test uh, code into these functions and see how they'll work. Um, so when we attach uh, the expert advisor to the chart, why don't we say um, tell the trader that it has been uh, attached? Um, Been launched. There we go. Um, then on tick, every time a new tick arrives, uh, usually we'd have some analysis here, some sort of uh, um, rule based decision making, uh, which we'll talk about uh, in the next tutorial. Uh, but uh, for now, we'll just uh, also have an alert. We'll just put an alert in here saying that um, maybe we'll tell the um, trader what the new bid price is. Um, bid price is and then as we remember we need to concatenate so we'll put a string in here and we'll look for the bid price which is the inbuilt bid variable. I hope by now that you're relatively comfortable with um, uh, this type of uh, alert statement. Um, and uh, finally, in the on dnet function, we'll say alert uh, um, expert advisor terminated. How about that? All right, let's compile that. No errors or warnings. Let's go to the terminal and see what happens here. So there's our euro dollar chart. Um, there, that's our account. And uh, now we usually we looked for scripts in the scripts um, tab or folder. Now we're going to look in the expert advisor folder. Here it is, my first EA. So if we drag that over, right away we will see this uh, pop up because expert advisors normally have external variables, but ours doesn't at the moment. So we'll just let let it play. As you can see, Expert Advisor has been launched. Now the uh, program is waiting for a new tick to arrive for it to do something about it. Uh, so let's just hold uh, hold on patiently. Let's see what happens when it does arrive. There we go. As you can see, a uh, tick has arrived and the price has changed. Now we'll wait for another tick. There you go. There you go. As you can see, um, uh, quite a few ticks have arrived, and every time 
expert advisor is telling us what the new price is. All right, now we will terminate the expert advisor and see if we get a message. So we right click on the chart and we look at expert advisors and we'll, uh, we'll remove our expert advisor. Expert advisor removed and as you can see we have a message here, expert advisor terminated. Um, so there you go, that's uh, what expert advisors are in a nutshell and uh, um, how they're structured internally and we will be uh, building upon that structure going forward and um, in this in these coming tutorials we'll uh, create our very first uh, standalone trading robot and thank you very much uh, for watching uh, if you're watching on YouTube uh, please do subscribe to the channel so you can get updates when new videos are uploaded and uh, have a play around with that. I hope to see you on the next tutorial. Until then, happy coding.